What's up nerds? I'm Ben and recently I checked out Luca Guadagnino's new film Suspiria. So does this remake even come close to matching the original? Stay tuned to find out. Suspiria is set in 1977 Berlin and tells the story of Susie, played by Dakota Johnson, who's auditioning for a prestigious dance academy helmed by the demanding Madame Blanc, played by Tilda Swinton, who also plays an aging psychotherapist trying to get to the bottom of the disappearance of several girls from the same dance company and just general mysterious goings on. There's more in that building than what you can see, doctor. dangerous people. So how to describe the experience of watching Suspiria? Well it's confronting, sexy, disturbing, stylish and frustrating all at the same time. It's quite dense and there's a lot to unpack which makes it hard to summarize my thoughts after only one viewing. But I do think it's definitely too long, two and a half hours to be precise. And when the original is half the length and twice as effective. You have to wonder why they didn't condense some of the scenes in this new one to make a more streamlined experience overall. Most of those scenes I'm referring to involve the old man character played by Tilda Swinton. And look, I understand she likes to be a chameleon with her roles, but I just felt like the prosthetics that were involved to make her look like an old man, I just found them really distracting. There's no denying how striking the visuals are. The original Suspiria is well known for its use of saturated, hyper-coloured production design. This is a more muted colour palette, but there's some visuals in here that will stay with you long after you leave the cinema. There's one scene involving a very violent dance number that is already one of the most talked about scenes of the year. It's definitely one of the more disturbing things I've seen in a movie for a long time. Just maybe make sure you finish that chalk top before the opening credits start rolling. <laughs> and it probably doesn't mean much coming from me, but Tom York's soundtrack really enhances the film. I would not be surprised if he got nominated for Best Original Song and Best Score at next year's Oscars. So if you love the original Suspiria, you definitely owe it to yourself to see this at the cinema. But if you're not a fan of slow burn horror or long running times and you prefer your body count quite high and your pace a lot faster than this, then maybe you should go see the new Halloween instead. Tell us what you thought of the new Suspiria in the comments below. And until next time, I'm off to listen to that Tom York soundtrack again. Yeah.